Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to class e-commerce A221. My name is uh, yes, Dr. Matiwanan Jagannathan. I'm your subject coordinator as well as a lecturer for the group A and B. Okay. Again, e-commerce BPME 3033. Okay. Today, I'm going to explain about uh, what you have to do throughout the semester from syllabus until your final exam. Okay, so let me uh, show to you what are the things you have to do before you uh, <clears throat> check your syllabus. There are a few things you have to complete uh, before you enter the class. First of all, uh, you have to enter UEM online learning. Okay, I think you can access from your portal. Okay, uh, if you access from your portal, you have to go to UEM online learning. And choose your group. If your group A, group A, if group B, group B, if let's say group C or D uh, by Dr. Shada and Dr. Yo, you can do the same thing. Okay. Because the curriculum or syllabus has been standardized in terms of assignment, exam, and so on. Okay. So for my class, if let's say group B, first of all, uh, you have to join WhatsApp group. Okay, WhatsApp group. Uh, which has been created by your lecturer. Okay, just click the join WhatsApp group, then you can join WhatsApp group. Okay, just join WhatsApp group A221 e commerce. Second, you have to click biodata form. Biodata form is about you have to fill up your particulars. Okay, uh, your full name, metric number, group A or group B, and contact number, email ID, and if let's say you have any business in Facebook, uh, not your business actually, okay, sorry, uh, it's a personal FB. Okay. Just put your personal FB or Instagram, Twitter, and so on. Okay. And just fill up and submit. It's very important thing you have to do uh, before you understand the syllabus. Okay, and for your information, all the notes, group assignment submission, group assignment, individual assignment, and what are the things you have to do, everything has been uploaded here, even your notes, okay, chapter one notes, and so on. Okay, so everything in EUM online learning, you have to get every material, each and each material from the class, you have to obtain from the EUM online learning. Okay, clear. Okay, let me uh, move to syllabus. Oops. Okay. So basically, <clears throat> the subject is BPME 3033. This syllabus has been uploaded uh, on, on your online learning. Okay, you can download it. Okay, e-commerce, electronic commerce. Okay, it's a 3000 paper. And the student must be from semester five and above. If semester four, okay. Uh, if you're a diploma student, okay. But I highly recommend uh, for the semester five and above. Okay. Okay. Uh, the course aims to provide a versatile introduction and understanding in e-commerce. It's not only introduction; it's beyond. Uh, in e-commerce, to under undergraduate majoring in business management and entrepreneurship. Okay. Um, students are able to relate a wide range of e-commerce applications. You are going to learn a lot of applications and issues that cover various sector of economy, including manufacturing, wholesale, retail, and services. Furthermore, students also aware about the pervasive nature of web technology in the form of mobile, location-based, and social commerce that have a great impact on business activities today and in the future. So these, these are the things you are going to learn. Synopsis of the course. Okay, so upon completion of this course, okay, after you complete, it means uh, after your final exam, okay, so you are able to okay, define a various term and concept related to e-commerce. Okay, what are the terms? I will explain uh, throughout the semester. Okay. Explain the impact of e-commerce in today's business environment. As you know, the impact of e-commerce in today's business environment is really, really enormous, huge impact. 
relate e-commerce application and usage in business. Okay, every day we are dealing with the e-commerce applications uh, with or without our knowledge. Okay. Organize the process of developing and management of e-commerce sites. Okay, e-commerce site, there are so many sites. I'll explain one by one uh, throughout the semester. Okay. So these are the learning outcomes. So basically there are four learning outcomes. Okay, you have to achieve upon completion of this course. Okay, about the reference, okay, about the reference, there are two books as the main references will be used, but ultimately, I'm going to use this textbook. This textbook you can get from, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you can get from your corporacy, okay, corporate, uh, I think V Mall, okay, and also you can get from online. And this is an extra book for certain topics only, not for all topics, but majority of the <clears throat> topics from this book. Okay, so you can search this book uh, over here. This is a book, e-commerce 2021-22. It's a bit expensive, but I think uh, university price or cooperative price, I think around 85 or 90. I'm not sure about the current price. So almost like that. Okay, don't be surprised by looking at this price. So this is a textbook, very interesting textbook. Okay, e-commerce 2021-2022, business technology and society, seventeenth <coughs> edition. Okay, latest one. Okay, so you can use this textbook. Apart from that, you can use this textbook as well. Okay, but this book, textbook is quite expensive. Uh, but you can get it. Last time during uh, PKP, during COVID-19 or MCO, this book given free by the publisher. I'm not sure right now, still available or not. Okay, this book. E-book was given. Uh, or oh, now you have to buy. Last time it has been given free. Okay. So you can get this textbook. <clears throat> okay, and additional references, you may ignore that. So, okay, if you want to read, you can get it, but there are a lot of uh, new versions, so you can get it. Okay, all together, okay, for the course contents, all together, there are <clears throat> 14, okay, 14 chapters. Okay, 14 chapters. So what does it mean asterisk? Okay, asterisk means okay, the single asterisk okay refer to this book. Now then, if let's say double asterisk like this is referred to this textbook, so you have to get the notes from this textbook. Don't worry, I'm I will provide the notes and also a chapter of this book to you. Okay, you don't need to buy this textbook. So, I would like to recommend to you, buy this book, rather than this book. Okay. So, chapter 1, and remark, chapter 1 means in this textbook, also in chapter 1. Okay. And for the chapter 2, you have to combine chapter 2 and chapter 3 from this textbook. That's the meaning. Okay. Uh, so, it's available in the two chapters, but in the syllabus, it has been consolidated as one chapter. Okay. And also retailing and electronic commerce, you have to look at the chapter 9 from the textbook. But by syllabus, it's chapter 3. Same goes to chapter 4. Chapter 12 is a textbook. Okay. And innovative system, ah, this one quite interesting. This topic not available in the uh, Loudon, the first reference. So you have to get from the uh, another textbook. Second main reference. Okay. And chapter 6, you have to refer to chapter 7, but only 7.3 to 7.4 only. 7.3 to 7.4. Okay. And chapter 7, 7.1 and 7.2. Okay. The louder, eh? the single asterisk. Okay. And followed by marketing and advertising in e-commerce, you have to refer to chapter 6. 
based on the textbook and followed by e-commerce fraud and security chapter 5 5.1 to 5.4 followed by chapter 10 electronic payment system chapter 5 5.5 5 to 5.6 okay and followed by chapter 11 e-commerce fulfillment and other ac support services ah this one you have to go for the second main reference which is uh, not from Loudon, it's from uh, this book. Okay, Turban. Uh, two essays. Okay, for the chapter. Eleven. Okay, followed by chapter twelve. Uh, you have to refer to chapter four, implementing AC system. Okay, and followed by e-commerce, legal environment, and ethical issues. Okay. Uh, chapter 8 and launching an online business you have to look at chapter 4 from the first main reference okay so all together there are 14 chapters okay so we'll be covered for this subject okay, okay look, talking about teaching method i'm going to do a traditional lecture some practical things okay and also student centered learning project and web tools you are going to learn some web tools and also some activity in the class okay uh, so my class is a abc class activity based class okay either activity in the class or after the class okay, okay cost assessment so what are the things you have to do okay basically this paper 50 50 50 percent final exam 50 percent uh carry mark or coursework okay first of all you have to do group project report I will explain later and also individual assignment 20 percent followed by presentation from your group project report okay. so you have to present your group project report that is another 10 percent so all together uh 50 percent and final exam 50 percent final exam it's a essay base okay it's not abcd this means not multiple choice question it's going to be essay and for this semester, it's going to be a sit in exam. Sit in exam, which means you are going to attend the exam in the hall. Okay, you have to attend physical exam. Okay. Okay, first of all, uh, look at how uh, your final exam looks like. Okay, it's going to be uh, like this. I can show it to you. Mm. One of the example, past year exam. Okay. Uh, oops. So basically, final exam going to be like this. Normally, I will give five questions like this, or sometimes I will give box cases, small case, and you have to answer based on the small box cases. Okay, depends. Okay, so it's going to be like this. Okay. So uh, another detailed things, okay. So this is a scheme of work. Scheme of work means how I'm going to conduct the class. Okay. So this is my document to be referred, and this is a dynamic document. I can change accordingly. Okay. For example, chapter one. Okay, what I'm going to do. Okay, week one, I will distribute the course syllabus, group assignment, and so on. So as I promised. So. I have delivered all of this okay and it's going to be traditional lecture and powerpoint and traditional lecture um online learning and chapter three you see i will expose or i will tell or i will explain about shopee 11th street and so on okay so this is a my action plan so i'm going to follow this one okay some classes going to be online learning okay fully online okay like yes, chapter five 
Okay, depends, huh? Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to explain about uh, group assignment. First of all, okay. First of all, okay. So group assignment, it's about you have to do a project B two B, business to business electronic marketplace assignment. Okay. So this group assignment, okay. Let me explain a little bit about the, you know, the synopsis of the group assignment. The project assignment is a compulsory part of the course and will contribute 20% of the final cost score. Therefore, it will uh, may require considerable effort in time, input, and critical thinking from each student. Okay, every group was required to work independently throughout the project, including independently means you are work, going to work in a group, but you're not going to copy from your friends. Okay, including information searching, data treatment analysis, material compiling, and final recording. A student within a group must work actively and contribute to the project work and report writing. Do not complain. Okay. During submission, do not complain. Uh, these students are not doing work. Please remove, the, I mean, sorry, please penalize the student. I'm not going to do that. Okay. You have to control your group. Okay. And specific guideline. Okay. Before you, I explain the assignment, let me uh, explain the guideline you have to follow. First of all, your group members only four to five members okay to start a new b2b e-commerce business model so basically you have to prepare a business model for your business to business e-commerce using one of the biggest internet platforms such as alibaba tencent and so on it means you have to think like a manufacturer or you think like a retailer or you have to think like a you know oem manufacturer and you have to propose your business idea how you want to use the available business platform like alibaba and make sure your business or your product available for the another business okay that's why i call it as a business to business alibaba.com is not for the b2c it's more to b2b that's why you know you have to buy in bulk not a single unit okay and also tencent india mart and so on okay so what you have to do is using all the information you have gathered above, every group is required to develop a market analysis. Okay, it looks like a, you know a business plan, but it's more to the market analysis. You have to analyze okay on the choice of your product. This will help the company to understand the needs of existing and target customer. So based on the market analysis, you have to prepare a report. Okay, what are the product you want to sell and why you want to sell that product, and who is your target customer. Customer mean is not an individual consumer. It can be individual consumer, but your customer is a company. And also you have to explain the individual consumer who is going to buy. Okay, your target demographic, okay, and so on. Okay. So what you have to include is about your company and product. Little bit about your company background and also product you want to sell. Not necessarily that product is a new product. It can be your existing product. Maybe you can get the product from another manufacturer and you rebrand it. You customize that product and you rebrand it. Or you buy the materials from different company and you assemble the product. That is your own product. Also can depend on you. Then you have to explain in detail how you come up with your product. Okay. And industry description and outlook. Okay. You have to explain about the industry. For example, if let's say you, you want to sell a mask. So you have to explain about the industry, mask industry, okay, and market needs. Do you think uh, this product really needed? Okay, is it market is very huge or not? Okay, market needs. Unique selling proposition. Unique selling means why people are going to buy your product. What is so unique about your product? It can be your product uniqueness or it can be your uh, marketing uniqueness. Okay, whatever is it. Okay. And competitive analysis. Okay, you have to do some comparative. Okay, competitive analysis and target marketing and market segmentation. Who is your target market? Okay, maybe you can target the company as your retailer, and also you have to explain the end users who is going to buy your product. And market segmentation. Under this one, there are so many things. Eh? 
demography factor, psychographics, and so on. You have to explain. Okay. I think you learn about this one in marketing subject, management, and so on. Okay. Pricing and positioning strategy. How you want to determine the price for the product. And also positioning. Positioning means how you want to uh, tell the people, tell the customer, or inform your customer about your existence. Okay. And promotion strategies. Okay, promotion strategy. So how you want to promote a product? And you can include, you know, under the promotion strategy, online marketing strategy. What are the uh, marketing strategy you want to use? Social commerce, mobile commerce. You are going to learn in this subject. So you have to apply all of this. Okay, you have to apply all of this in your assignment. Okay. And break even analysis. When you are going to achieve your real profit, the actual profit. So you have to analyze break even analysis. And you have to do sales forecast. And finally, you have to write about your potential problem and challenges. Problem, it can be a marketing problem, financial problem, labor problem, political problem, whatever problem and challenges you have to include based on your industry and product. Okay. I think uh, this one you can follow maximum 20 pages, not a long report. Okay. Minimum 15 pages. Okay. 1.5. Right. If let's say you want to write more than 20 pages, no problem. Okay. If let's say you want to write more than 20 pages, let's say you, your report is 30 pages. No. You can request to me, then I will give permission. Okay. And you have to follow all of this. Okay. And please include the appendix. Okay. Appendix. Uh, rubric. Eh? Rubric appendix when you submit your assignment. So you have to submit your assignment week 11. Okay. I did not put a date because of changes of, uh, some, you know, sometimes uh, changes of semester happen due to some circumstances. So that's why I put week 11. Okay. So you have to include this one. Appendix one. Okay. So I think you know about uh, preparing the assignment. So table of con first page, then followed by your rubric and table of contents. Then about your company, industry description, A, B, C, D, I, uh, then references. Okay. If you want to include. Okay. But references is uh, one of the important documents. You have to include. Okay. okay. That is your group project. And you have to prepare a pitching video about your this one. Okay. You have to prepare a presentation. Okay. Presentation, I will let you know. Okay. Uh, whether it's a physical presentation or recorded presentation. Okay. Okay. I will let you know this one. But most likely, I will ask you to uh, present in physical if you do have a time. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to be recorded. Okay. Or both way, recorded and physical. Okay. okay. Individual assignment. Uh, this one is a big task. Okay. Individual assignment. Let me. Put in a simple word, individual assignment is about B2C, business to consumer. So you have to assume yourself as an entrepreneur and you have to find out one product and you have to sell that product through online as well as offline, depend on you. If let's say, if you're selling through offline, okay, also can, but better through online by using Multi platforms. Okay. First of all, okay. This assignment aims to provide an understanding and practical knowledge of digital business in Malaysia. So, what you have to do is selling and buying online has become a buzzword among Malaysians. Therefore, students are required to apply the entrepreneurial knowledge in digital business. Okay. So, what you have to do is first you have to find out the product, one product or multiple product. You can get your product. From your friend as well. Maybe your friend and yourself want to sell the same product, also no problem. But different platform. You cannot share the same platform. Which means 
Uh, let's say you are using Shopee, you have to use the different shop in Shopee. You cannot use the single shop for selling uh, product for both of you. Cannot. Okay. So you have to choose Lazada, Shopee, Muda, whatever other relevant platform that you can use for the B2C. But I highly recommend Shopee, Lazada and so on. Because some platforms are not really recommended because of some issues. Especially spammers, scammers and so on. Okay. And products you can get from your, maybe your father also doing business. Maybe you can get the product and sell on behalf of your father. Or you can get from your friends. Okay, whatever products. Okay. And for promotion, okay, this is, you have to create a Shopee platform. Okay, or Lazada platform, or whatever is it. Okay. For promotion, student must create a social commerce business platform. Okay. So you have to promote your product. So you can use uh, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and so on to promote your product. But you are selling product in Shopee. In the meantime, you can sell your product through social commerce. No issue. Okay. After creating a B2C platform, sales platform and social commerce business platform, you are advised to delete both accounts except those who want to continue. Okay. Maybe after the semester, okay, over, you can delete the platform, the Shopee platform or social commerce platform if you decided to discontinue to your, your business. If you want to continue your business, please proceed. Okay. That is your passive income. Okay. You are a student, so when you are earning money, that is your passive income. Okay. So this is just an example. Eh? Okay. So assignment outline specification. For this assignment, you are not need to write any long essays. First is personal portfolio. You just write about one to two pages about yourself and why you want to sell this product. Just a simple thing. You want to sell this product because of the market needs or whatever is it. Okay, you just sell it. Okay, oh, before that, for the group assignment, uh, that is not an actual product. Eh? That is a, just a business idea. Okay, for the individual assignment, it's a real product. For the group, no. Okay, for the group, not a real product. Okay. <laughs> business portfolio. Okay, second, you write about your business and print screen. Ah, this one. Print screen is very important. Print screen means, let's say you are selling your product in Shopee. You register your Shopee. You have to take one by one print screen, your registration. You upload your product and someone buy your product. Everything print screen. Okay, customer order, anything. You just print screen and just put caption. Figure 1.1, then just caption. That's it. If let's say you are promoting in social media, print screen. Okay. So that's the thing. So only four components for this assignment. Very simple. Okay. And you are required to follow this advice. Okay. There is another thing you have to include. Okay. For this assignment. Okay. Which is your sales. Okay. You have to require to go to e-commerce portal by MDAC and you have to print screen as well your portal. Okay, that is an additional one. Okay, is maybe 5.0. Okay, 5.0, you have to print screen. Okay. Okay. So as I mentioned just now, you have to go for the print screen of Go e-commerce portal sales record. I will show it to you how it looks like. Okay. And you have to submit Thursday week 30, this assignment. Okay. And please follow the guideline how to input, okay, how to key in uh, your sales portal. Okay. So I will show it to you how to go in this one okay and for your information uh, most likely uh, by week three 
November, MDEC will conduct a session, special session with students regarding the MDEC portal, e-commerce and how to key in sales and so on. Okay. So let me show a simple demo. Just go to Google. Just type go commerce. So it will go to the go e commerce M deck. If you have not registered yet an account under the e commerce, you have to register. I think most of you already register go e commerce platform from the earlier subject, which is uh, introduction to entrepreneurship. Okay, so you just register. If you're not yet registered, you just log in. Okay. Okay. When you register, okay, if let's say you're the first time, so use the, your identity card and your email ID and so on, and you have to choose the student at Tibet slash university. You are not a micro entrepreneur. Okay, and just register. So once you register, then you can log in. Okay. How to login? Just click login. I'm going to use the uh, on student account for the demo because my account quite different. Okay. First of all, uh, when you enter, you are going to see track your business test your business readiness and learn online so i'm not going to focus all of this i just focus track your business to record your sales it means report your sales okay when you report your sales uh, there are some advantages or some benefits you can get from the mdac maybe you will be invited for the sessions and so on okay and learn online okay let me go to the learn online first and followed by webinar repository. This one is nothing. Webinar repository is just click and you can see this one. Webinar repository is whatever webinar has been conducted by the MDAC has been deposited here. That is a repository. So you can watch again and again, uh, which has been conducted a few years back or a few months back or a few days back. Okay, you can watch that. Okay. And the most important is this one and this one track your business and learn online okay learn online it's like uh, our uem online learning when you go to this one you can learn you know a lot of things they will provide search engine marketing notes uh, how to do facebook instagram website e marketplace a lot of uh, new materials over here you can click and learn by yourself Upon completion of learning this one, you can get certificate. Okay, ah. that's a beauty. For example, you want to learn about copywriting, just click. Ah. You click this one, and you can enter, join. So ah. now you can complete all of these okay videos. <laughs> yang boleh prospek akan berhubung melalui WhatsApp adalah penting untuk merekodkan nombor telefon di dalam pangkalan data kemudian ber so you are going to learn all of this that is okay. so you just click my learning oops then you can back to the the main page okay this is very important is an additional platform free and completely foc free of charge okay you can get benefit from here and a lot of uh, updated notes okay. and you can check your profile when you enter for the first time it will ask you to update your profile okay so that is my learning done okay 
So you just go. And most important, before you record your sales, please upload okay, your details. It means update and upload some details, eh, like your photos and so on. Okay. You can go to the personal profile. Business profile and so on. Okay. So just update here. Edit your business. Uh, you don't need to register your business. Just create a uh, one, you know, just like a, you know, dummy business. Dummy business name, but you have to do a real business. But you are not required to register under SSM. If let's say you want to register, go ahead. No problem. Okay. Now we go to the business. Okay. Either you click a uh, home or you can click a uh, my business. You click my business also can. So you see, it's going to be a portal like this, and you have to report your sales. Just click report your sales. If let's say you are doing online, just click online. If let's say you are selling offline. But you are promoting through online, but people are buying offline, face to face. Just click offline. Okay, online. Up to you. And you have to choose the date. And if you are online, you have to choose the platform. Which platform you use? Social media or whatever platform. Okay. And then you choose, let's say, let's Shopee. Okay. Okay. Then amount. Of sales. Uh, amount of sales means maybe your unit is 20 ringgit. Description you can type. Okay. And category product, maybe uh okay. This one. Uh, product material stock. Okay, if let's say salary, salary, okay, uh, depend on you. Okay, goods. Uh, let's say raw material. Uh, or stock, normally stock, okay, uh, maybe 15. So, system will deduct, okay, based on the sales and expenses. So, it will create a, some calculation, okay. Then, you just submit and submit, okay. Very simple. Okay. So, once you submit, uh, you can see the profit. For example, this student, 2020, yeah. Sales uh, 20 ringgit, so it's going to be like this. Okay, uh, so very simple. Okay, so you just go and check around what you're supposed to update in Go e commerce platform. Okay, okay, then you can log out. So thank you very much. Uh, if you do have any question, you can ask to your lecturer or you, or you can ask in the YouTube platform. This video will be uploaded. Okay. Thank you very much.